Okay guys, I almost left you out of the loop altogether. I fully intended on uh, doing a step-by-step -step video on porting it, but this ABS plastic or whatever these intakes are made out of, a lot of them have really restricted intake openings. I don't know if that's just part of the casting process or what, but uh, this is one of the Dorman replacement truck intakes that's actually a three-piece setup. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but they have the outer shell, and if you'll look at it, it's got super long runners from the entry of the plenum to where the air actually gets to the head. There, it's really super long, it's supposed to be really good like it pick you up, I don't know, I think they said 7 to 10 horsepower at the tire and similar torque in the usable RPM ranges, yada, yada, yada. But if these things, flip this over, it's a three-piece intake. You've got your upper plenum. So now bear with me here. You've got your upper plenum that'll have basically your upper or ceiling of your runners. Then you have the floor of your runners that's set in there and create the actual uh, runners to your port from the common plenum, if that makes any sense. So you basically got the floor of your runner the roof of your runner and then I've got the lower intake over here in the vise. I'm going to show you in just a second because that's the one I started working on. Um, but these things have seals that hold this inner structure. You know what I mean? It seals in there. Then you have this part that bolts to your lower intake and then that all bolts to your cylinder heads. Well, these things have excellent flow once you start opening up the uh, where they match to your cylinder heads. And I'll show you, they, uh, have a, they have a pretty ergonomic looking entry into their plenum. You know what I mean? It's way smoother than like a ca uh, GM casting would be, but it's really small. Like, I haven't mic'd this particular intake, but I was looking at it last night, and, you know, you can't open it up a whole lot from where you're at because you still got to be able to seal your rubber gasket here, but there's huge overhangs. Like, literally, on this side of this port, I bet you close to three-eighths of an inch or more will be removed. So see how this opening is this size and then it necks down right here. All that material can be removed and not affect anything with your inner structure. You're just making the opening larger so that you can flow more air into the common plenum. Then I'll move over here. I'm trying to make anybody sick. Hold on a second, let me move the camera. Here we have the lower uh, intake the lower or the last the third piece to the puzzle the what's what's wrong with these and these have already been worked quite a bit but just so you'll know what i started with for some reason when dorman does the castings on these intakes let me move back just a little bit about more so you can get a little bit better view of what i'm discussing here for some reason, when Dorman casts these intakes, they have this really restricted. Like they literally have the top of this, not even as big as my pinky. Over here inside, if you can see the contrast, see if I can get you guys a little reflexiones there. If you'll look on this left port, no, we'll do the second one in. See this? darker area and then it's shiny up here okay everything from here down all the way to the front of this port is a 
quarter of an inch step that's cast in it straight from Dorman. Now, there's no reason for it to do that because all it does is essentially make the opening of your entrance to your head smaller on the floor and causes turbulence. You know what I mean? Like it starts here. Um, you might be able to see it like right there. Let's see if I can show you with my fingernail. It literally starts all the way over here, comes up to there, and then goes back and blends. Why Dorman does that, I have no clue. So basically what I do is I go in here, and then on this one you can see it's shiny up here where I haven't really worked it yet. That's the factory finish. This is that darker area where you can see I've been working it, you know, porting on that plastic to remove that quarter inch step that was drastically reducing the port size directly where the uh, intake bolts to the head. I, to this, you know, I can't figure it out, but once I get the back side, right now I'm working on the back side, once I get it all cleaned up and get everything flat and smooth like I want it, then I will come over to this side and do my final shaping of this part of the port where it connects to the head. Because this is the fastest part of that process. Because you can't get too crazy with how much material you move over, remove over here because you want to still maintain good structural stability for your rubber O-ring seals especially when you're going to be running boost with the turbo. So this intake is going on a turbo six liter in a pickup truck that he's looking to put down 700 or more to the tire. So I'm going to do my head flow ink port work on this three piece dormant intake. And I'm going to port and try to improve the flow on his truck throttle body. So um, I just wanted you guys to kind of get a little information uh, from me as far as this porting goes. I do apologize because I had intentions on making a better step-by-step -step video and turned around and got busy trying to get this done for him and then realized, wait a minute, I never even showed anybody what I was doing. I was gonna see, I got my trash can over here. I wanted to show you guys I'm really disappointed that I didn't uh, here's a piece this isn't even a full piece but I just want you guys to see this see this piece right here imagine this and this isn't even a whole piece of it imagine this sitting in the base of that port taking up the whole bottom corner of it like there's no reason for that material to be there literally you have to go in and remove that quarter inch step to get the flow back it's just amazing to me why Dorman from right here down and over I bet it's at every bit of a quarter of an inch obscures from here see if you guys can see better on this port but literally it blends like imagine if it's flat kind of at this back edge it's flat now imagine a wedge coming forward in this port coming out a quarter of an inch so literally from that line forward down to here that whole corner of that port is blocked but I know these intakes respond very well to opening up this port to a real full-size opening like you would have on a cylinder head or a performance gasket, blending it all the way back, texturing it, a uh, little bit of opening up here at the top because you don't need that real tight cathedral opening at the top. It gain, you gain nothing. You know, even when you do cylinder head porting, that cathedral gets opened, not to a complete arch, 
but opened quite a bit, almost to the shape I have this one right here. But I just wanted to, guy, wanted to show you guys what I was working on, porting out this Dorman uh, plastic truck intake with the super tall runners. Uh, it's three piece design, like I said, with the lower intake. Then you have the upper runner and the lower runner that goes together and then all three pieces screw together. But that's where we're at and that's what I'm trying to do. Thanks for watching.